Good morning, everybody, and this is your S and P 500 day trade setups for today. So, uh, pretty much a confused start to the week. You can see uh, sort of range bar or pin bar, then big down, big up. So, lots of bits and pieces of structure forming on different time frames. But at the moment, you know, these levels that I gave you yesterday, which is also bottom of the channel. Um, looks like it's holding. We do have a uh, sort of a grouping of the oscillators at the moment. Uh, not a really diversions um, on the eight hour, but I'm pretty sure if we start looking at like the three hour, you're going to see these diversions. You can see oscillators moving up and price moving down. So at the moment, obviously, what we need to do from a structural point of view is break this 4497. Possibly 4500 is the area that you more than likely need to pay attention to being a nice round number. So you need to get above that, hold it, and then this little pullback will be over and then we're looking for the measured move to the upside. Measured move on this, just by the way, uh, let's just take conservative view from there to there. And uh, it should be yeah 46.30 area. So 4,600 is still my upside target at the moment. So I did give you the trade on the Telegram channel this morning. Oh, not this morning, late last night. And uh, basically there were two options that we were looking at. The first one was uh, at 44.50. Um, there was a level to, to pay attention to. And then at 44.75 was the next area. And I'll show you what I mean by that now. So uh, the long entry was in, if you got in at this bottom level down here, you're talking about a, a fairly decent 300 pips at the moment. So there it is there, uh, it's 300 odd pips to the upside. Now let's just get down to 50 minute because that's the, the, the level that we saw. So there is the um, 44.75 area, you can see that was a previous swing high. So it was either a break of that or a visit down here. And we got the visit down here at, uh, we just tagged the uh, 44.50, just below it, uh, which is just enough to get triggered with the, the trade. And then obviously you got another trade triggered over here. So for me at the moment, stop is up below this area here and uh, pretty much a free trade at the moment because both trades are relatively small and uh, they are both in at this stage. So uh, just coming back to the hour, what am I looking for? I am looking for a break of this area here. So 44 and five, this is at 4,500. We get above 4,500, then what I'd be looking to do is waiting for pullback onto that and then add to the existing trade I have in uh, and move the stop up even higher. And then I am looking ultimately for 4,600. So that's kind of the view that I've got at the moment. Um, there is quite a bit of structure we need to pay attention to. And one of the key ones, I can just get a low at uh, a three or four hour here. One of the key ones is that trend line. And then I have another trend line here, which we are hovering on at the moment. So just come to the 15 minute and you'll see that is a trend line that we are hovering at the moment. So obviously I need to get above the current highs of this morning. And uh, the fact that buyers came in coming in to close like this fairly aggressively is a good sign. So yeah, that's kind of my ramble for this morning. Uh, definitely sort of in on this trade right now. And uh, we're waiting for more structure before jumping back in. Well, not back in, but adding to what I have. And uh, we'll keep adding as we break this structure, come back and test it, I'll add, and then that'll give me a nice area to put stops up here. With the trades below it, that'll be profitable. Even if it comes back and triggers that, I'm still profitable. Then I'm looking to break this structure, come back, test it, uh, look to add in that area, move the stops up, and then I'll be uh, watching this area, waiting for a pullback off that, and looking to add off that. So that's kind of the view that we've got at the moment. Um, there is quite a bit of data coming out this week, uh, so just be wary of that. I know we're waiting for CPI data as well, but yeah, you know, don't let the noise influence what's happening on the charts. Watch what's happening on the charts, and uh, you should be fine. Anyway, that's kind of my view uh, at the moment. If I do see something, I, as usual, I will add it on the Telegram channel. But the S&P 500 is currently my focus for the week. I don't think I'll be trading anything else right now. Anyway, hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.